Well, there he is. He's a number six, John Sutton. And he's not as big as Sam Burgess, but he's probably as big as Sam's brother, Luke. He plays at number six. Johnny Sutton. Well, um, I held the record here for 40 years until Johnny came along. And uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think that Johnny would play that many games. Always the best player in his grade. And, um, he, he got it. The fantastic Kensington United side, you know, they went to about 10 comps in a row or something. Then he progressed for the Matthews Cup and a couple of years later he never made the SG ball. And, and I, I, I was coaching South and I, and I pulled him out and put him in the, in the, in the flag side. Shadow um, played 5'8", uh, all, all the way through, the tallest 5'8 I've ever seen. Wally's pretty big too, but um, Shadow, silky hands, always had that, a great, great step. And away they go to Sutton, and the 5'8 is as big as the Best footy was at 5'8". Um, people you always just say he's too slow or he's this or he's that. And I just go, you guys obviously don't watch the game because, you know, every good thing that started started from John Sutton. Um, you know, he never had the greatest kicking game when he started. He had no kicking game, but he invented one. He managed to come up with a left foot kicking game, which is invaluable. And, uh, you know, he, he was just one of those guys that could do anything. And But his ability, his ability to organise and run, run things on the field was second to none. I mean... When he said something, people went there, you know, and uh, and there's no there's no uh, doubt why we were always a strong left hand side attack. Uh, as much as Renault would scream for the ball on the right, Sato would take it left when he wanted. It was a mentor for me in the halves when I first came in the grade. He let people know when he wanted the ball, when he needed the ball. Um, you know, and he demanded success around him. Um, he was he was very thorough in the, the way he went about his business, and yeah, a bit of that's rubbed off into me. Peets goes back for Reynolds. He comes to Sutton. He had Petty Ball on his outside. That was enough for Sutton to storm through. And the Rabbitohs again have the lead. Probably the, the thing that I remember most is that he, you know, he having a discussion with him, wanting him to play 5-8, and he, and he said he didn't want to be an organiser. I said, well, you know, <laughs> he didn't want to be the organiser. And I said, well, I think you're, you're, you're a natural, you know, but we won't call you that. We'll just let you do it. As a general, I think just the way he would, he would uh, grab the sort of game by the scuff of the neck and just say, right, we're doing this, we're doing that. And back away, they're in under the post. I think you'll find Sutton score. The referee's going to point to the spot. The ball with Roberts. He's forced to kick high. It'll come down to the centres for Tate. He got a knock. It's been put down by Graham. I remember when John first started, uh, and he wasn't quite as fit in his early part of his career as one at the end, but all the other teams that would play against South Sydney would just run a John Sutton to try and tire him out so that he couldn't be as effective in attack. But it didn't always work. And Luke goes behind the deep, goes Sutton and score! John Sutton has got another try for South Sydney! The times that he really excelled was in the halves, 12. 13, 14, Maguire's years that he really stood up and I think what happened in those years was the, uh, just the training regime, he got fitter, he was able to think a lot more uh, and do a lot more and uh, without fatiguing himself out. Some collapsed under the regime, so <laughs> some continued, some died. <laughs> <laughs> by example, he doesn't only tell people what to do. He's honest, he tells you what you need to hear, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. He just demands excellence. He, he was just a great player, um, great direction in, in the game, and you could probably talk about him in the team of the, of the century. Yeah, he probably changed the way the 5-8s play the game, um, and, and that's a, a big thing to do in, in the NRL. Look, he helped me tre tremendously with my game, and and grew me as a person. He was just a dominant feature on and off the field. Great trainer. It's funny people, you know, the stories, the bra boy stories. He was always a good trainer, John Sutton. And, uh, and you can see by his longevity, the lack of injuries he had and everything. That was because, and as he got older, he got a, became a better trainer. I mean, Wally Lewis used to talk, talk about being a bat, you know, a born again trainer. Well, John was certainly a bat. He's just been a legend of our club and, and just the number of games he's played. We've, you know, given him the tributes he, he deserves and, He'll, his name will be in the club forever. Because of who he is and what he's done for South, he's going to be one of the South's greatest players. Sutton sticks the golf shirt side, the dummy, the go, and he's over the line. Little alert, but he's gone back into the traffic. I feel it was on on the left side. Sutton might still do it, he does. As a Tarsi. Off. Back to Sutton. Sutton! Sutton!
enough all that out. Here's John Sutton, he's over the line. First try of the match. Big John Sutton has scored.